Good evening. Uh, it's late at night on the 24th of January. It's a Wednesday. We've been busy posting leaks out the day. Uh, the first thing I would like to say is my apologies for the mistake I made. Uh, it's Alzheimer's kicking in. On the last video, I stated that I would be starting to post leaks out in July. Um, this was a mistake. It was obviously January. A couple of people did pull me up on it. Um, hopefully my daughter in future will correct anything like that but uh, never mind that was a mistake I am posting leaks out at the present moment that's what I've been doing today uh, the video tonight I will show you around the greenhouse just to show you how things have grown on in three weeks but uh, first of all I would like to mention a few things for the Northeast Horticultural Society uh, the first one is uh, we've hosted our annual general meeting at the Civic Hall in Stanley for the last few years uh, unfortunately it's undergoing uh, renovation at the moment and it's unavailable and possibly unavailable I don't know for the future but uh, we've looked around and we've come up with a great venue in the Gibside Arms on Wickham High Street it's a great venue and we are hiring a room for the annual general meeting which will be on the 10th of March it's a Sunday morning uh, there's loads of parking out the rear of the hotel I think it's free on a uh, Sunday at the park but you best check just in case uh, you know, I'm maybe wrong at that, but there's a parking for over 100 cars, so hopefully we'll get 100 cars turn up. Uh, the meeting will take place on the 10th on the Sunday at 9am for 9.30 start. Uh, please turn up, uh, it's going to be a very important meeting and uh, we hope to have plenty of people there. Uh, the next thing that we have on the agenda is our seminar. We held a seminar last year, once again at the Civic. Uh, again, we're having to move. There's a separate room within the uh, Gibside Arms. Uh, it's a fabulous room. It's a large room, has a bar in it. Um, we're actually putting a, a buffet lunch on, which the hotel are providing for us. There is a cost to that. It's around £10. Uh, so we, obviously we will be charging for that. But we'll only be charging £10 for that plus £5 for the tickets. So it'll be 15 for the day's uh, events. I've got some fabulous speakers on. This is going to be on the 23rd of March. Again, 9 a.m. for a 9.30, 10, 10 o'clock start. Gavin's arranging uh, plenty of trade stands again. So there'll be trade stands to come in, have a chat with, have a talk. Um, it's going to be a fabulous morning and we've got some great speakers lined up. First off, we have, uh, I'm not sure which way they'll be in order, but Niall Curry is travelling down from the Isle of Rothsay. And uh, Niall is a, a great grower. He's one of the top NVS men at the moment. Uh, he's won national championships with onions, collections of veg, blanche leeks. He's a good all-rounder. Uh, so he's coming to talk, and I do believe it's on onions. So that'll be great. Jim Williams, uh, who's a great speaker. I've heard Jim many, many times before. He's here to give us a, a presentation on greenhouse growing. So that's another fabulous talk. And something for the flower lads. Um, a few of the lads have said you never put flower speakers on. We've managed to get Andrew Robinson. He was chairman of the National Dahlia Society and he's coming to talk and put a slideshow on a presentation on growing dahlias. So that'll be the morning's events. Uh, we'll have the buffet lunch after those speakers have been on. And on the afternoon I have some top judges coming. Uh, National Potlick Society, CIU uh, and independent judges. And we're going to put a, a judging seminar on because there's several different um, factors that come into judging. Uh, we'll ask what each judge is thinking. We'll have a, an open discussion. You can ask any questions you want and uh, Just you know try and improve the judging and what what people are actually looking for So that's the seminar held at Gibside Arms on the 23rd, which is a Saturday uh, 9 a.m. for say a 10 o'clock start Moving on to the show uh, which will be at the end of the year uh, the show is on the 6th 7th and 8th of September uh, the 6th is for uh, obviously getting the show set up. It will be held in Beamish Museum. They're erecting a large marquee for us. It will have a wooden floor in. It'll have lighting in and uh, all the usual benching that we have. Uh, the show on the Friday is for benching only. So if you've got produce to exhibit, come along, put your exhibits in. Every exhibitor in the show will get two free tickets for the museum for the weekend. Uh, which is a fabulous museum. It's a full it's a full weekend's event to be honest with you um, On the 7th and the 8th, which is the Saturday and the Sunday the show will be open to the general public and we are expecting some really large numbers this year 
The museum has uh, a lot of visitors on a weekend, several thousand. Uh, hopefully the event that we're putting on will attract a few more. So we're hoping for a real bumper weekend. So come along and support us. You'll see all the uh, committee and all the stewards uh, dressed up in, not fancy dress, but in period dress. Uh, that's going to be something special. On the weekend, um, the 1950 cinema will be built. And we're hoping, well, we, we have already organised Medwin Williams, who's coming up from Wales, and he's going to talk about his gold medal exhibits at Chelsea. It's, it's a fabulous talk. I've heard it. It really is interesting. It's great to hear. Turn up for that. It's going to be in the uh, 1950 cinema. We have John Smiles on the Sunday uh, coming to talk as well. I'm not sure what John's talking about. He can talk about most things uh, related with gardening. He's been in horticulture all his life. So that's going to be a fabulous weekend. Lifting will take place on the Sunday. So anyone who's exhibited can lift their produce and take it home with them on the Sunday at 4 o'clock. The show's open for the two days, uh, the period of um, obviously the, the museum being open. And we are expecting high numbers for that. So that's it for the North East Horticulture Society at the moment. Also anyone wanting to join the society, uh, the easiest way is to drop me a line. Just put... Um, your fee, which is £10, into an envelope, a stamped addressed envelope. Um, that'll let me know that you want to join. Uh, try and come to the meetings if you can. Try and come to the seminar. And then we look forward to seeing you at the show. It'll be a fabulous weekend. If you remember, it's free to enter up to 64 classes. The leak classes, there is a small charge on because it's an open show. For anyone who's got leaks, turn up on the day. It costs £5 per entry or multiple entries cost £10. So there's some big prize money on offer um, and there's some new classes which the museum are putting on. They're going to host a, a museum special for the day or the weekend. So fabulous weekend. So that's enough on that one. Uh, what I'm going to do now, last month when I was here, we had a little look around. Uh, well, it was the 1st of January when I did the last talk. Uh, we'll have a little look how things have moved on. Obviously, a lot of plants have gone out. Younger plants have come on. But we'll have a look and see how things are moving. Right, uh, obviously it's dark out here this evening. And what I've done, I've put all my grow lights on tonight. Um, I couldn't afford to have them on as a normal thing. But we'll just walk through them and I'll show you a couple of uh, bulbs out on the T5. This is the uh, LEDs. These are Maxi Bright Pro 660 watt. And then we've got a selection along here. Metal halide. Sodium. Metal halide, metal halide, metal halide. These are all 600 watts and they do really boost some stuff out. Right, we'll start off on the onions that we looked at the last time. The other onions I was just putting down for stock. As you can see, they've all shot right away. These onions will be stripped down. Uh, all the other onions that I had in here that were already stripped down and been moved into a cold greenhouse to slow them down. I've just stripped the large ones that were over £12 there at the far end of the greenhouse, which I will show you when we get up there. I'm still setting seed. We've got pepper seed coming through. And we've got some tough ball, some bonus, and bridger. Um, I've seen these. These are all for the 8-ounce class of 250 gram. Still a few small plants left. Right, uh, lots of big leaks on Facebook, so I'm just going to basically show you what I have. It's I haven't, uh, I don't like really big leaks at this time of year, but never mind. I have put six of each type on the lights. Uh, they've got an extra seven or eight days on the lights just to give them a boost, so I'm not miles behind everybody else, just in case these leaks do make it for the show. So we've got um, Kenny Black's new one, Black Hall Cross. These are some seedlings I have. They're looking very nice, to be honest with you. I'm more than happy. You'll see shadows from the main lights behind me. Um, we've got some GSN2. They're looking great. I know most people who've got this leak have said it's a really lovely leak. Uh, it is growing well, and it's looking good in people's greenhouses. What I will say to people is, it does go long in the very early stages. Don't panic and don't nick it, because it does drop itself right down. And I can guarantee you it'll only be an inch and a half at planting time. 
as they, they start to grow. You can see that they are splitting themselves. I haven't split any of them. I haven't split any leaks anywhere this year. Moving on, the Cumbrian. Um, these are the virus free Cumbrian from a, that I had made, well, I've been selecting for a few years. Uh, these are all in three litre pots and they're all in a mixture of pot bedding mix pro with uh, one bag of pot bedding mix pro with one bag of John Innes number two added and I've added some coarse grit in it here proper potting grit I put a good few scoops in every uh, batch that I've mixed up and that's what these have been potted in they're, they've been in these pots now approximately one week so they're growing quite well the same mix I've potted some onions on uh, this, uh, these are onion pips that I got out of Tom Powell's garden I uh, got these from Jimmy Dunnett and these are what Jimmy won the national with last year the stand of six uh, from like 2022 uh, the stand of six quality at Harrogate so they're coming away quite nicely they've been off the lights for quite a while now um, they only got uh, the initial seven days on the lights to give them a boost and then I did pot them into small pots and put them back on for a further eight days so they're looking quite good moving along has these are some uh, Nick Brakes onions. Some Right, here's a typical one here. This is King Charles. Now, please don't ask for any. I haven't got any this year. Uh, likewise, the Princess C. I did lose all my heads. I had some forced heads. And uh, I've managed to save enough for stock for myself for future years. But uh, I haven't got any to spare. So please don't ask for them. Uh, this is the King Charles. These have just been potted up into one litre pots. And as you can see, they are very long. They're looking really long. Big jumps in them. Now again, I'm not nicking them and I'm not splitting them back. They're actually doing it themselves since I've potted them up. There's one. There's another one I can see. But these ones I put back on the lights for another seven days. Believe it or not, these are the same plants off the same head. And these ones are put back on the lights. And as you can see, they've split themselves because they've grown quite rapidly and they've dropped right back. So they're nice and short now. So again, there's no need to split. They will drop back. A few more onions. And here, this is virtually... I have a few more Princess C. But these ones I did put back on the lights just to give them a boost because I thought I was going to lose them. Uh, they've come away very well. And they're... A, they're probably a lot larger than I would want at this time of year I have maybe a dozen others apart from this they're on the far side and that's the entire stock that I have for this year exactly in the same place as the last video if you remember the small GSN 2s this is the same plant that I've actually potted into I've selected them out and I've potted them into one litre pots and they're looking very nice and they are just a perfect size for me um, they will make my main planting up Obviously, I have six much larger at the far end, and I've got some on here on this bench, which I've just potted. Uh, those were potted last night. The few There's a dozen at this end, which have been potted up uh, about four or five nights ago. And again, they look. some of them look long, but if we take a look at that one, it's split itself right back, and it's very short. And I can see there are others in there. There's another one there that's splitting themselves as they're growing. There's another one dropping right back in length they've got a lovely little twist in them which it's nice i like to see that they're a lovely color and uh, keep my fingers crossed they're going well uh, i'm still posting plants so be patient people um i haven't got if i'm sitting on a computer answering people's questions when am i getting my leaks i'm not outside posting so give me time i will get around to everybody uh, and we will get all leaks posted hopefully within the next week uh, basically that's it. I'm not holding high temperatures in here. We've had some terrible weather. Um, heavy winds. We had a lot of frost in the last week or so. But uh, the temperature I'm holding in here is around about 48 degrees. It's quite cool in here tonight, but it's, it's been a pleasant day apart from that really strong wind. I hope everyone hasn't had too much damage. Um, that's about it for the moment. Uh, any questions, put them on your comments and I will do my best to answer. Thank you very much now. Cheers, good night.